Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser, geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Simple. Geyser, geyser in the building. Now check this out, man. Do we soul in the building, man? Simple. Simple. Smooth skin soul in the building. I'm gonna take a shower after this. I just got out the gym. But listen, I want to tell y'all something. I, I had to drop this video right now when my energy is right. I can't plan videos and then be like, oh, I'm going to drop it at this time. And then I can't do that. I got to drop my shit like literally in the moment when my energy is right. And I feel like it's time for me to drop a vid. You know what I'm saying? If the energy ain't right, I'm not forcing myself to do anything. You shouldn't either. But let me tell y'all something. First thing first. So I want to say rest in peace to Pop Smoke. I know y'all was waiting for me to drop a video about this yesterday. A lot of y'all be sp listen. I'm not gonna keep coming on here talking about people dying. These art, these celebrities dying, bro. I've been telling y'all this shit was gonna happen, but at the same time, bro, I don't be wanting to know about this shit. You get what I'm saying? I don't even be wanting to know. I would not know if people don't send it to me. You know that? So let me tell y'all this. It's a rapper by the name of Pop Smoke. I had no idea who he was, and I found out that one of the songs that I have heard. And I ain't gonna lie, I didn't like the song at all. But I found out that was him. And um, that's tough. Another new popping artist. He was a new artist. Um, a new artist just passed away. They say he got, it was a hit. Like he got killed and they came into his home or some shit. I wanna send some condolences out to his family. And they say TMZ always found. Bro, TMZ, them motherfuckers, is, them, bro, listen. I'm, ta I'm talking right now, this is my opinion. But them niggas is the real killers, bro. It's something about the the, 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 the news station is just a cover-up for the real scheme that's behind TMZ. Them motherfuckers got hitman out here. It's something about TMZ we don't know about. It's impossible for them to know the news before everybody when it comes to celebrities. Every murder, they know the news first. Nobody posted before TMZ. They, oh, they automatically know it first, bro. They automatically know when a celebrity died before every person on this planet. I seen a movie called Night. It's a movie called Nightcrawler. And I be decoding the fuck out of movies. Like you like a regular person to just watch a movie and they be like, damn, that movie was good as fuck. I'm watching the movie decode and just knowing everything they just do. Just, they, they just be teased. Bro, human beings is fucking stupid, bro. Humans got to be the most retarded. Like, dude, humans is so... Bro, humans is just just dumb, bro. Like, we fall for everything. We just, we don't question nothing. Like, we still ain't been in Antarctica, nothing. We don't question shit, bro. We just go along with, 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 with this toxic life. But, dude, it's a movie called Nightcrawler. Not just Antarctica. There's a lot of shit we don't question. We don't question nothing. It's a movie called Nightcrawler. And... It was, it was basically this guy. He was like a news reporter. He wanted to be the first. They was in competition seeing who could be the first one on the scene, right? Like who could be the first one when something happened, like a car accident, a murder. The news stations like Channel 4, Channel 7, etc. They all be in competition trying to see who could be the first one. Y'all could go watch this movie. This particular guy ended up being the first one at a scene. But when he got to the scene, it was still shit going on like niggas were still shooting at each other and shit he ended up being caught in the action right he ended up being caught in it and he ended up killing a person right so he covered this killing up he didn't want nobody to know he killed him he was there before everybody he ended up killing him a person he ended up covering up ended up being the first one on the scene and they made him like this big legend of like being he ended up becoming a legend for a, mur for a murder that he committed when you really think about that shit, bro, when you really, like, when you really think about that shit, though, like, really, just think about it. And this movie came out in 2014. He ended up killing some people. He ended up being a, the first one at a fucking crime scene too early. Police wasn't even there yet. He snuck, he was like, went in there and people were still alive. The nigga ended up killing somebody because he was going to die. So he ended up covering his shit up and ended up being the first one there getting all the footage. He was getting live footage, right? And he ended up being praised for it like he was a guy. He was the number one reporter. That sounds like TMZ, bro. Them motherfuckers literally, I feel like TMZ be killing these niggas, man. 
y'all celebrities. Like, they just be, they playing this target out on y'all. I think all celebrities, I feel like celebrities already got chips too, real shit. I feel like they got something that can make them go unconscious before shit happen. Bro, this is just what I be feeling with them. Celebrities already got chips. Like, when they go to jail and shit, if something happened to them, when they come out, I think they already got the chips that they trying to place in us. I think A-list celebrities already have it. You got to control them somehow. Real shit. Not just clones. I just feel like they already got the chips, man. When you really think about it, why wouldn't they? They got way too much power. But it's something about TMZ we don't know about. Man, who the fuck? Hold on real quick. But check it, but listen. But anyway, I forgot what I was just talking about. Oh, y'all was talking about TMZ. It's something about TMZ we don't know about. But check this out, man. So first thing first. Fucking January. It's, it's, it's still February and all this stuff is happening. We lost Juice World at the beginning of the year. Rest in peace, Juice World. Right after that, they was, they was talking about this World War III shit. And then we lost Kobe. And then they started talking about this coronavirus shit. And then we just lost another celebrity. I gotta hurry up and move. But when you really start thinking about this shit, I told y'all, 2020 was going to be a very, very, very dark year for people that wasn't prepared for it. And a lot of y'all got to understand, if you really don't focus on yourself at this point, like, remember I told y'all when it comes to these celebrities and rappers and shit, remember I told y'all that they make more money off of you when you dead? Remember I told y'all this, holo, this this project Blue Beam shit, this hologram shit? Remember I said they was going to start using celebrities going on tours with their holograms? If you go and type in Whitney Houston name right now, She's going on tour with her hologram. Remember I told you now since they got the now remember I told you now since they got the 5G shit. The 5G shit, they got more technology now. They can use technology, way more advanced technology than you ever seen in your life. Remember I told y'all that? So when it comes to these celebrities, dude, like man, it's best that you start really focusing on yourself and keeping your energy to yourself. Like some of y'all motherfuckers. Y'all y'all Instagram pages are private. Y'all don't post. Why are you on Instagram then? Your Instagram page is private and you don't post no pics. You only on Instagram to pay to, to pay attention to other people's lives. Some of y'all ain't even got pics and you still on Instagram 24-7. And your page still private. That's weird as fuck at that. Your page private and you have no pics. All y'all doing is paying attention to other people's lives. You don't have to know what's going on. You know that? You could really just be focused on yourself. If you didn't really pay attention to what other people was doing, your life would be way better. You would probably be rich, all type of shit, because you will have a totally different mindset. It's like a lot of y'all is addicted to just being hurt. And then people always come running to me, talk about, oh, you was right. You was right. Y'all have to understand this only the beginning. You really have to understand that shit. And far as pop smoke go, I know a lot of y'all probably like, bro, obviously it's something else to his death. Obviously, I know this. I remember I told y'all to start looking up the gematria shit, but it, come to a, it comes to a point in time you don't even want to focus on none of that shit no more. You don't want to focus on none of the bad stuff because it's going to make you feel bad. At the end of the day, a lot of y'all just got to stay off social media. That's all I can really say to you at this point. Take breaks from social media. And if you're going to be watching shit, watch shit that makes you feel better. Watch shit that puts you in a positive mindset. 
You get what I'm saying? Watch stuff that's going to really keep you at a high vibration while putting that inner work in. Focus on yourself. Manifest your life. Do what you want to do in life. Because like I told you, we all we got. At the end of the day, we all we got. These, these, these fucking bots don't question anything. They just go with the flow. Remember I told you it's just people here to serve agendas. It's people here strictly to serve agendas. They're not meant to wake up. Everybody's not meant to wake up. You need to really understand that shit. I noticed they was pushing this Dwayne Wade shit down. Dwayne Wade is going all on talk shows. Why he couldn't keep that shit to himself? Why they got him out here doing that with his son? Think about it. I told y'all this was going to happen. Why he couldn't just keep that news to himself? Why did he have to come in front of the world and tell everybody? Because he's being told to do this shit. They're going to push all type of shit down y'all throat. And then getting closer later on towards the summer, that's when the World War shit going to start kicking back in. Y'all ain't going to be hearing. Y'all ain't heard about war. What happened to World War Three? What happened? They ain't talked about it at all. What happened to it? It was just a big thing. And then what happened? Every time something else happened, y'all humans literally just forget about y'all going to forget about the virus pretty soon. They're going to stop talking about it. You don't really know what's going on in China, bro. China has a totally different news outlet, news station, everything. The motherfuckers don't really know what's going on in America. You have to understand that shit. We don't know nothing. That's why I said focus on yourself. It was really a fucking car parked in my, bro. It was a car. I just went to my window. It was literally some fans had pulled some fans had rolled by earlier, bust the U-turn and I seen them outside. I was actually out there at the time because I was like fixing up my yard and shit. And they was just like, what's up, et cetera. It was like a car full of dudes. They was like, what's up? I'm like, what's up? And then they just kept it going. And then it was just some, a car out there parked in front of my house, a red car. When I cut the lights off, the motherfucker took off. Weird, right? I get a lot of fucking dark energy coming my way, but a lot of this shit don't phase me because I put in the inner work and I focus on myself. This shit just going one ear and out the other. But I know I have to hurry up and put myself in a better position. I'm thinking about just giving up everything. I'm giving up my car. I don't want my car no more. I'm going to sell most of my shoes. Like I told you, I got 80 fucking pair of shoes and only wear four pair of shoes. I just got a lot of stuff that I don't need. I just want to travel the world. That's all what's left for me in this fucking matrix. It's just traveling, seeing all the nature and that this world has to offer. Because they destroying that. Talking about fucking climate change so y'all could put more chemtrail clouds to cover up the sun. Climate change just mean they want to cover up the sun. That's what climate change mean. The earth is getting too hot. Yeah, it's getting hotter and hotter. And no motherfuckers can't take it. That's what climate change mean. Whenever you hear climate change, just think of more chemtrails getting sprayed. It's that simple. But anyway, focus on yourself. Stay the fuck off social media. I'm going to sit here and tell y'all that. As soon as y'all get done watching this video, you're going to go straight back to Instagram. It's nothing. Social media, the vibration on social media is low, bro. It's at the lowest it could possibly be. Why can't you focus on yourself? If you don't post nothing and you, and you ain't posting nothing and your page private, what are you doing? You just focused on other people's lives. Like, it makes no fucking sense. If you on there posting and shit, you can still follow people that you want to follow. Follow some nature. Follow some shit that makes you happy. Some stuff that make you laugh. They making TikTok more shit to distract these young motherfuckers. TikTok gotta be the most pointless shit I have ever seen. That shit is retarded. TikTok, another app to distract you. These motherfuckers just are zombies, my nigga. Walking zombies. Don't get lost. Don't get lost in the sauce. Focus on yourself. I guarantee you that pain you feeling if you start focusing on yourself and detox from social media, that pain will go away. It won't exist. Get you some nature. Start grounding yourself. Come back to where you came from. Nature. Mother Earth. Try to get you some sun. Quiet in the mind. Once you start building the habit, eating better, even though everything is fucking GMO, if you start eating a little better, stop eating all this bullshit, 
Y'all know what I'm talking about, processed food. You already know what processed food is. You start eating better, doing all the stuff that you have to do. All the stuff that seemed hard, it's not hard. If I can do it, you can do it too, man. It only took me, it ain't even been a year yet. You see my other channel, what I used to be. If I can focus on myself and help people and inspire the world just by focusing on myself, you can do it too. You have no excuse. Anyway, take care of yourself. I'm about to go take a shower, man. Take a shower. Call it a night, bruh. I've been focused on myself, man. Still in the process of moving. We shall see what happens. I just want to travel the world. Might give me a chill apartment. I just want to live a regular life. Just travel, getting paid to live life, my nigga. Simple. What's better than that in this matrix? I don't want to work for no one. I don't want to do no extra shit. Just travel the world and focus on me. Eventually, I'm going to have a girlfriend to travel with. That's going to be nice. You know what I'm saying? That's the dream. Anyway, take care of yourself, man. I love y'all. Gazer, gazer, spiritual soul signing out, bro.